don't want your dough to be too wet. Jessica Pomona Cut is the executive chef and owner of Kita Pan and Kitchen. She says it's the only Native American catering company in Illinois. As a Native woman and as a Native chef, I felt it was my obligation and responsibility to bring indigenous cuisine to the forefront of Chicago's culinary scene. She began cooking as soon as she could see over the stove. For me growing up, it was such a big part of our family is cooking together and sharing meals. She says some of the staples of the American diet come from Native Americans and she wants people to reflect on that as they gather around the table with their families on Thanksgiving, a holiday that brings mixed emotions for many indigenous people. A lot of the foods we eat now, like beans, squash, nuts, berries, wild rice, tomatoes, watermelon, even chocolate, they're indigenous in nature. Pomona Cut says indigenous cuisine has been impacted by struggle from the first contact with Europeans to forced relocation. We were taken away from everything we knew, all the foods that we survived on, and we were issued government commodities. We have this ability, this, um, like this ingenuity about us where we can make something out of nothing. Tate Juniper is featuring Pomona Cut in his We Are the First Project, which is a compilation of stories of indigenous people in the US and Canada. When you see Jessica bringing all these traditions, this culture through her food, it means a lot to me. One of the most popular items on her catering menu is fried bread. Pomona Cut says her goal is to reach as many people as she can with her cuisine and hopefully leave them with a better understanding of indigenous people. You taste the love? Mm -hmm. There you go. Lots of love. Then I've done my job. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.